Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, Karibu Sana. My name is Penny Charles. And uh, for the returning subscribers, thank you so much for always supporting me. And uh, for the new members, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and uh, give this video a big thumb. So today I want to share with you guys the best days and the best time to go to Gikomba. <music> that uh, many people have this assumption that uh, you have to be in Gikomba as early as 5 a.m. or at 6 a.m. guys and that is too early well not that uh, at that time akuna watu Gikomba there are people in Gikomba yes but then that is way too early for whatever reason you want to be in Gikomba so I will start with the days and the best days to go to Gikomba is on Monday Tuesday Wednesday and Thursdays uh, because that is a, that, those are the days that uh, many people open bills and I'm talking about dresses, tops, nini, nini, everything uh, that you may need in, in Gikomba. Many people open the, the bills between Monday and on Thursdays. Some people, uh, quite a number of people don't open bills on Wednesdays but uh, kuna wengine hufungua. So Wednesday is still a good day to go to Gikomba. Now, um, on Friday, on Saturday, and on Sunday, they do something we call uh, kufagia. Uh, so kufagia it means kufagia means the uh, the clothes that they have been opening from man the, from Monday to Thursdays wanazifagilisha, and that at that time unapatanga um, clothes are are sold at a very low price, and I think that is why when people say gikomba kuna ngoza fifty kunangoza so uh, and abitu kama hizo but if i'm not lying to you hizo ngotanunua 50 ama so honestly azikwangi the very the very best uh, quality like utapata nguo poa na so ama 50 bob si eti hakuna by the kuna hadi 30 bob or even uh, or even 20 shillings but um if you're a person who uh, cares about quality and uh, uh, someone who uh, looks uh, you're looking forward to buying something that is going to last long then you don't want to buy those clothes that are sold at uh, 50 shillings a 100 bob. Also, if you are looking forward to buying clothes to go and resell, you you will not find so many pieces at that time. Unaweza pata nguo ilipita by the way nguo ilikosa mwenyewe during those 4 days. Um na ni poor but mostly inakwanga ni kuangukia. So in whole I mean in all honesty, uh those days Zakufagilisha, you will not find anything good, alright? So if you're looking forward to go to Gikomba for whatever uh, reason, whether you want to buy clothes to go and wear or you're looking forward to buying clothes to go and resell, uh, just go to Gikomba between Monday and Thursday, okay? Now, for the time, um, I'd advise anyone to go to Gikomba between 7 and now kuendelea mbele 7 to at, at least 10 a.m. That is the time uh, so many people open bills. But then kwa viatu kuna funguliwanga a little bit early because sometimes I'll get to Gikomba at 7 a.m. na nakutana na watu wa viatu kama wamebeba washa maliza kushop already. So saidi ya viatu kuna funguliwanga mapema kidogo. So if you are going to saidi ya viatu kwanzia 6.30 a.m. that is totally okay. But for other things, dresses, tops, na troza, na hizo vitu zingine, anytime from 7 to uh, 10 kuendelea mbele is okay. Some people even open bills at 10 or at 11 or even at 12. So in a depend at the end of the day, mtu anauza nini, alright? And that, this is why I keep on telling people to just go to Gikomba and discover things for themselves. Because actually there's something that I discovered. I discovered if um for dresses by then I keep on telling you this for dresses sina mtu specific na sijafika kwanza kukula camera bado because camera ya dresses is a little bit high but then I know what um like I, I know how to go about my my getting stock for my dresses. Uh so I I I realized that um 
if you go to Gikomba at 7, that is when mm, bills inafunguliwa. And at that time, watu wanapanga na pressure sana. So, ile siku nataka tu kuenda kuzunguka, nitafutengua from kibanda to kibanda, I go at around 9 a.m. And it's because at that time, pressure imesha isha kidogo, um, mtu wa camera alisha chukua kenya alikuwa nataka, na you'll find now zenye zilibaki, ama maybe zenye alibakisha jana, Na at that time atakuzia bila pressure. So that is something that I discovered. So if the guy that sells me dresses, Hana dresses, sometimes I just get uh, inside there. Nazunguka from kibanda to kibanda looking for dresses. Nachukua moja mbili. Uh, kwa kibanda moja imi nachukua mbili. Ingine nachukua moja. Ingine nachukua uh, tano. Depending na zenye mtapata. Okay. So I discovered if you go way too early, utapata hawa mama wanakwaga na pressure. Na, na utaweza kufanya biashara na na Rosafi. So, if I, when uh, I have those days, I go there at around 9, uh, kuendelea, and honestly, guys, I get clothes. So, don't don't panic if you want to gikomba, wanze kufikire vanyo utakufika uko 5 a.m. ama 6 a.m. Apana, vitu waziendangi hivo. Anytime utapata vitu, but then again, it's uh, good to get uh, there a little bit early. As I said, kwanzia 7, because also the early bird catches the worm. Ukenda gikomba sa nane, sa saba, ha utapata vitu, unless... You have someone that mkona arrangement and amekwambia wende at that time. Because sometimes by the way I go at around 1, at around 2 and those are the days mepigua simu ni meambua kuna nguo ni ende. For the tops, I have a lady who, op I mean, who opens uh, bills for me. I did a whole video about that. If you have not watched it, I will link it somewhere on the screen. So please go and watch that video. It has a lot of information in there. So with that lady, I get to Gikomba at 7.30 kwa sababu tunahonga tumepangana. Uh, we open the bell, tunachagua, we get to know what is camera and what is not. And by, at, uh, by around 8.39, we are done. I take my clothes for ironing and then now nendelea na shuguli zingine Gikomba kama nilikuwa na shuguli zingine. So that is basically it. It's not scary and you don't have to be in Gikomba by 5 a.m. And... I promise you the I, I promise you the more the more you go to Gikomba the more you'll get to discover things and trust you me you'll not even struggle moving forward so yeah that is it and I hope I just wanted to clear that and um share that uh, piece of information with you Thank you so much for watching this video to this uh, bit. Please remember to subscribe and give this video a big thumb. And uh, go back and watch my other videos about Mtumba, about lifestyle, and uh, about other things that I do in this channel. So that is it. And um, that is it for today. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.